The engineers we need today, they can't just work on their own. They need to be able to work in a team. They need to be able to work with cross-functional teams. They have to have a good base of engineering education and understanding. Uh, but they also have to be able to work with people. They've got to be able to uh, work with financial concepts. They've got to be able to think about things like safety and quality and reliability. We're looking for hard-working people who don't mind getting their hands dirty, who don't mind getting their boots dirty, uh, but at the same time have the ability to get out there and make technical decisions and deal with the highly technical issues that come up on the jobs every day. But we've had great luck in finding Western graduates that are able to do that. Engineers at Logan Aluminum need to, to roll up their sleeves and dig in. It's a lot about problem solving, making the machinery operate well, making it work better, and designing improvements to it so we can go faster and be more efficient. Logan Aluminum they ship their large aluminum sheets. They put them on these alucores, but when they cut the alucores, they're sharp and perforated along the edges. So they have to apply an aluminum detective tape along the sides. The current process of applying the tape to the outside of these alucores is done manually. So that was the problem they wanted us to solve, was how could we either eliminate the human interaction with applying the tape, or how could we at least lessen what amount of work he has to do uh, for applying this tape. We sought to uh, decrease that by semi-automating this process. Logan is a founding member of the industrial partnership between Western and local industry, and there's really two reasons for that. One is it's a way for us to get solutions to complex problems where maybe a more traditional solution will not work, and then it's another means to develop relationships with the students such that they get an idea of what it's like to work in our industry and we get an idea of their personalities and how they work such that when it's time for them to find a job, we already have a relationship. Here in Bowling Green, we are the center, the, the metropolitan center of a largely rural area where there are a number of small towns. And although these are small towns, there are some really great high-tech companies located there. We have opportunities that come from our connections with the automotive world, that come from local industry, including agricultural industry. And so there's some great high-tech opportunities right here in this rural area. Especially in this area where it's mostly manufacturing dominant, uh, with starting out with a bachelor's in engineering, uh, there's no roof on top of where I can end up. I'd like to keep moving up the ladder as far as I can go. In a rural area, especially for a small engineering firm. I definitely get to see um, the sales pitch side of it. You know, I have to be the one to convince them that we're, we're the right guys for the job. And I also am and the one that takes that and goes back to the drawing board and starts drawing on it, designing it, and doing um, the engineering that goes along with it. When I come home, I guess I kind of want to continue the way I grew up, kind of a rural area like that, Western Kentucky. I've interned uh, two summers at the Corvette assembly plant here in Bowling Green. Um, I was lucky enough to work on the launch team my first summer for the new C7 Stingray that just came out. I had the opportunity to work on it and improve it a little bit even before it was uh, released to the public. Uh, the following summer I worked in the quality department. I even uh, got to work with the car even more. The thing that I think is so cool about being at Western Kentucky University in Bowling Green is that there's a connection between what happens on campus and what happens in the community. It is a direct connection between what we train our students here to do and the community, uh, industry, manufacturing. And we actually have these conversations with the people who hire. Even though it's rural, we have an incredible capacity to hire these engineers who are so well trained in these, with this project-based learning mechanism because they have this transferable set of skills that they can take anywhere to these companies. I think that it gives them an opportunity to um, integrate what they're learning with the outside world and with uh, you know, the solutions that are going to be necessary to, um, to uh, in their future careers. Halton makes kitchen ventilation systems. And what they wanted to do was develop a way that they could actually um, figure out the velocity of the plumes that are coming out of their 
their systems. So this is actually a preliminary way to create a calibrated volume flow rate. And through this, I'm actually able to capture our images so that I can correlate a picture back to an air velocity. Remington wanted to test the precision of firearms, so when you pull the trigger of a gun, if you do this over and over, how tightly those bullets pack? What is the actual accuracy, truly precision of a gun? So what we did is built this test stand to see how well guns shoot. And we wanted to have this thing mimic a human firing the gun, which is why we have this recoil system. This is actually phase two. We've taken time to do a lot of improvements. Last year, they created the test stand that's behind me. And we took this apart, reverse engineered it, found all the things that worked well, we kept those, we found the things that didn't, and we did our best to improve those things. Many of our students have aspirations for working internationally or in big cities, but many of our students also want to make their careers in places like the places they grew up, in places like home. What I hope for all of our students is that they find that mix, whatever it is that they want, that they can make a technical contribution building on the skills that they got here to their companies or maybe they form their own companies, but that they can also live the kind of life that they want to live, whether it is back home where family is or out in a big city either in the United States, in North America or somewhere else in the world.